Good afternoon and welcome to the Pretty Cool Vlog where we show you things that we think are pretty cool. The Great Smoky Mountains up here at the Tennessee, North Carolina line just about. Deals Gap. At the end of the Tail of the Dragon famous stretch of road, 11 mile stretch of road that has 318 turns in it in 11 miles. That's a lot. It's constantly back and forth. Anyways, this is Deals Gap and behind me here, look at that. It's the Tree of Shame here. This is where people have gotten a little too out of hand. Maybe a little bit, maybe veered off the road, crashed a little bit. Hopefully they're okay, but this is the pieces left over from those events. It's a little scary. Oh yeah, here we are at the tree of shame. Look, see, it says so right there. No gain and a lot of pain. I bet that is really scary seeing all these parts and pieces of different motorcycles and whatever other type of vehicles they take along the road here. Wow, some of them pretty jacked up. But yeah, that's, that's kind of scary. Very scary. Look, it's just kind of hanging there. Ominously. And this is the official spot for Deals Gap here. Elevation 1,756 feet up. And right over here to the left is the original Dragon General store. You can go in there and get yourself a t-shirt to commemorate your experience here on the tail of the dragon. That's pretty cool. Oh, look over there. Yep, there's one of those uh, sculptures I was talking about. Let's get a closer look. And look at that dragon head right there. It's pretty, pretty cool looking. And look at this, here's an actual tail. An actual tail of a dragon here. You can see it's got a motorcycle looped up, looped up in there. I guess it eats these things for breakfast. Looky there, US-129. And here's this metal dragon sculpture thing. It's actually pretty neat looking. That's a pretty neat sculpture there. That is a Mad Max looking motorcycle. What that guy ate for breakfast. Lunch, dinner, maybe. A lot of human parts here as well. Including skulls. It's pretty intense. It's pretty intense. Now this is not just for motorcycles, there are plenty of cool cars that go up and down this thing too. Very, very popular with the, the car crowd. Tail of the Dragon. It's pretty neat, so you can actually see some pretty neat cars coming up and down the road. Like that one for one. So we're just kind of around the area, just looking around at things. Um, yeah, of course we like cars, so... Or we, I like cars, so... I thought it'd be a neat thing to do to come check this out, but let's see what else is uh let's see what else is around. And one of those other things that there are to see around here are things like this. Welcome to the Fontana River, and welcome to the Fontana Dam. Wow, is that not crazy awesome? It's actually a hydroelectric plant. It's pretty neat, actually. You can see over there. Let me zoom in a little bit. Whoop. Let's see, right there, uh, right there. So that's like the a little overflow area. Whenever the, the water is really coming down, that thing like shoots out out of there and goes way down the river. I bet it looks pretty impressive. It's too bad we can't see it right now. That would be pretty cool. Here's another little shot of those spillway tunnels. There's actually two of them over there. Whenever the reservoir is full up at the top, the water's gotta go somewhere because you really don't want it going over the top, there is a, a road that goes across there. You got your uh, lake up top. Instead of letting it flow over, they got these spillway gates, these tunnels that open up and direct the water right up. Man, look at that. We're standing like right there. That would probably look pretty impressive. Oh man. Yeah, so anyways, like one of the things they do here uh, at the Fontana Dam is they extract power by using these turbines directing the water through these turbines, spinning them to make electric energy for the towns around here. How cool is that? And all the while looking, very impressive. This is what it looks like down from down here. Let's go to the top, see what it's like from up there. Oh man, and like that, we are up at the top for this view up here. Holy moly, that is quite the view. You can see those spillways where they shoot out and you can kind of see, it looks like 
probably when they're at full force, how far they blast and they disrupted the ground there, creating some little rapids. That's, that's a long way for that thing to shoot out. But that is, that's a pretty intense view. And actually, on the other side of the road, this is Fontana Lake. So this is what feeds the dam on this side. So it's, this is pretty neat. It looks like the water's, looks like the water's a little bit low right now. Like you can see where, like the water level usually is. So I don't know if they've done that, if they've lowered it, or if it's just, I don't know, maybe they need some water right now, some rain, I'm not sure. Oh, but one other neat thing I do want to show you before we head out of here, because I just want to, just a little quick thing, just a little quick thing to look at, the dams, you know, because there's a lot of dams around here. But I want to show you these spillways. The top of the spillways is kind of scary. It's actually really scary. It gives me a very weird feeling, almost like vertigo looking down inside of it. Let's see if it does the same to you. Speaking of vertigo. Whew. All right, so we just came way over there in the middle of the dam, walked over to this side to these, these things right here. I, I think these are part of the, the motors or, or whatever contraption that lifts up the, the valves for the spillways. Whoa. That is scary. That is that is a giant hole going a long way down. Oh, here's a better view of those flaps. How they would open up. You can see they're they're closed right now. Not letting any water through at the moment. Fontana Lake back behind there. And you see these things could open up and let a slew of water rush through there. All right, I don't see any activity on this side either, but man, look at those those chains. That's some big old chains right there. Wow. I do hear some water flowing down there, but I definitely don't see any falling from these flaps right here. So they must have some secondary like auxiliary portals or whatever to release. Oh, that is really scary to release down in there. So I definitely hear some water flowing, but I don't see it. Anyways. The Fontana Dam. This is like a scenic overlook on old 129. Tail of the Dragon. Little break. A little breaking point here. But we got a nice overview of Fontana River, I think it is. Looky there. That's the Ekoe Dam, I think is what it's called. That's the one that was in The Fugitive, the movie where Harrison Ford jumped out of. Ooh, look. Motorcycle maniacs. This is a mecca for motorcycle maniacs going up and down the old tail here. Pretty cool. The other side of the road's got a neat view too. Well, I was gonna show you the neat views that we've got. I mean, you can see them. But there's gnats like everywhere. It's so natty. Ew, they're all over. Actually, you know what? Just to kind of bring you along on this uh, Tale of the Dragon trip, we're gonna do a little hyperlapse, time lapse thing. Set you up on the dash so you can experience all 318, whatever it is, curves in this little 11 mile stretch. Time for us to get back moving. Oh. Motorcycle Maniacs. The Mecca. Tail of the Dragon. That was pretty neat. We definitely didn't come here in the, the right car to really experience it, but I think for our first go, it was pretty good. I did enjoy it. Tail of the Dragon. You got to see a little bit of the Tail of the Dragon there. Yeah, so if you come here, be careful. Definitely, for one, because it's a very dangerous road. There's a lot of curves in there. It's got all of them in a very short amount of time. You're going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. 
But in any case, that's it for us. So we'll see you guys in the next one. As far as we're concerned, that's pretty cool.